My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're going to be continuing with Watcher and Ascension 20. Alright, let's go for the random boss relic. Ooh, sacred corn chip. Doubles the effectiveness of potions. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I kind of want to hunt elites to try and get the white uh, beast relic. A little bit short-sighted, but uh, I'd also really like to do it, though. Let's take this early path and then evaluate whether we want to go for elites later on, depending on what we have. Beautiful. Only takes two strikes in the next hand for a kill. That's them. These are they. Uh, Flurry of Blows, really early, yes. Very, very good. So I deal two less damage by going into Vigilance there. But give myself the ability to kill this turn because I get the extra energy from the Vigilance exit. Lovely. Rush down whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. Okay. I actually don't want to go to these question marks early. I want to go to normal fight so I can try and pick up more cards because I still actually need to pick up aggressive cards here. We've got it. Skill potion, no. Wallop, probably. Yeah, no skill potion, though. We'll go for another normal combat. No need for rush down. That's our only wrath trigger in the entire deck, and we've already passed over it. Should be able to prioritize defense here. We're hoping for Roth this turn. Beautiful. Only just got the kill, though. Uh, empty fist, halt. Well, halt. Elites is still going to be really hard for us. Let's rush down Vigilance here early, because we're really looking for one singular large explosive turn here. And this will have to be that. Got him. Lantern, Sludge Combat, Vigilant Energy, as well as Talk to the Hand? Yeah, with Flurry of Blows, Talk to the Hand is really appealing here. It's a lot of cards I desperately want upgraded. I'm going to go for the Eruption, though. Just because we already have Rush Down. I think I'll just heal in this position. And go for the... Say oh my god! Potions always appear in combat rewards. Hell yes! <laughs> very, very appreciated game. Wish I could play the Eruption here. This is our worst Elite Combat. And we don't even have good potions for it, so... This is just going to be a bad time. At least it's only a single strike for the backliner now. That'll do. To the hand and then wallop the frontliner because we're looking to try and kill that in the next turn, possibly with eruption. Hmm. We'll just completely defend against it. Hopefully, we've got a complete defense next turn because we're not going to be able to kill this sentry. That's a no on that. Halts, warrior blows, and then I can vigilance my way out of this. How aggressive is my next stance? Not that aggressive. I'll vigilance my way out of it because I can't guarantee that the frontliner doesn't just give us a really awful time after that. Happy to at least have one defense that turn. Ugh, 
Passing off a lot of defense on these turns where I don't need to. Come on, eruption. I know you're in there somewhere. That'll do. Bottle Tornado upon pick up choose a power card. Start each combat with that in your opening hand. Do that with the rush down. Simmering Fury, Scry 3, enter Wrath at the start of your next turn. We'll put one of those in here just for setting up big turns against bosses and stuff. Rushdown needs to be upgraded if it's going to be in my opening hand. I now need more Wrath Triggers in the deck. We were trying not to do a start switching deck, but it was immediately offered to us, so... Sorry. Mental Fortress, Empty Body, and Empty Fist, maybe? And a Bowling Bash. Just pick up a lot of really, really neat cards there. Ooh, Pendib! Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. That's very, very important for this kind of a deck. Looking forward to these giant Wrath turns. Mental Fortress Vigilance. Got to start setting that up as early as possible here. Warrior Blows. Defend, defend, halts. And then Simmering Fury scries my next end really poorly. But it enters Wrath at least. And it enters Wrath at the start of the next turn, importantly. Which means that that's when my rush down will trigger. Meditate, yes. Very, very useful for this style of deck. I will still have to rest, but I'm probably going to use the Strength Potion to push through this fight with the full strength it gives us. Okay. Hey, there's the Vigilance I was looking for. So we'll Vigilance and then I think Meditate as well just to get the Eruption back in hand. Yeah. We'll Meditate to get the Eruption back in the next hand. Because then we're going to want to put the enemies on the ground. Okay. Let's go Wallop. Then empty fists. We can eruption, then halt. Flurry of blows, vigilance, and then flurry of blows again. All good. Sets us up for a double damage on the next attack. Hopefully that's something like a wallop though. Let's go full defense on that turn. Hmm. That could have been a lot better. Still looks like we'll get through this fight, though. Flurry of Blows. Empty Fist gives us back the Flurry of Blows. Then I can Vigilance. Flurry of Blows. Empty Body. Flurry of Blows. Simmering Fury. And then I'll just kill next turn with a Wallop. Beautiful. Vaults, lessons. I mean, lessons learned. You don't turn it down. Snack away. No, not with the not with the flurry of blows in this deck. Flurry of blows is too important for it. Reliable start switching in hand from the runic pyramid is really, really good for this style of deck. Let's see how this goes. Probably going mostly question marks this floor. They usually don't attack on turn two, so I'm going to treat it as though they're not going to attack on turn two. Mm -hmm. Good thing too. 
So what's in hand? Bowling bash strike. I'm looking for lessons learned for our kill here. Still gonna be weakened next turn, but single strike beforehand and then lessons learned. Gets our kill. Ooh, strength potion. Lovely. Another flurry of blows. Beautiful. Uh, I think we actually just need to bounce. I can't give away extra HP uh, on this ascension. We'll go very aggressive next turn. So 12, 12, 14 is 14 and 14. Sorry, it's 24 and 14 is 38. 8, 46. Yeah, it's not enough. So with the strength potion, that is... Yeah, the strength potion will turn this into lethal. We had a pen nib. Maybe we already had lethal. Dang it. Thankfully, we get a potion after every single fight. And two artifacts as well as a speed potion. Neat. Can't have a decay. Not in this deck. Um, a Dark Shackles that we can hold for the right turn is super neat, but I think we have to go Mental Fortress. Card remove Basic Strike and bounce on. Alright. Artifact and then the Speed Potion. We are going to need them both here. Talks the hand, flurry of blows, empty fists, flurry of blows, vigilance, flurry of blows, and then don't need to play another defend. We're fine. Wallop, and then normal defend. All right. We need to go real aggressive this turn. We've got an empty body, so we should be fine to do so. Eruption. Halt. Hmm. We get both of those flurry of blows in the first discard pile on this shuffle of the deck. Seems like a good idea at least. The incoming damage is 42. If I do those, I should be fine. Get both of those out of hand. All right. So vigilance before we eruption. So Eruption draws before it pulls back from the discard pile on the start swap. That's, or rather Rushdown will draw before the other cards are put back in my hand. That's unfortunate. It's not how I expected that one to go, unfortunately. Mm. Definitely not how I expected that to go. Defends and then empty body. Getting back the two flurry of blows. We'll also throw both of those. Now I think I'll meditate to put an eruption in my hands, which will give me lethal this turn. Flurry of blows, flurry of blows, then lessons learns. Yep. All right, Wallop got upgraded there. Not really pleased about that turn otherwise, though. Take a crescendo. 
At least we lived. At the absolute least, we did live. I do actually want those bites, like, a lot. Even if they're unupgraded right now. That said, we're going to have to rest in a lot of these positions as well. Crush joints for vulnerability when we're going for this build. Seems useful. Take strawberry for max HP as well. Thank you. It's exactly 100 to remove a card right now. We have exactly 100. Still think we probably go with, like, Halt. I'd love if this deck had just one copy of Tantrum. Oh, it'd be perfect. Yikes. These turns have gotten pretty harsh. Killing the backliner here ultimately defends me against some damage. That is the damage the backliner would have done itself. The Runic Pyramid is working perfectly as I'd have hoped. It's just... Uh, enemy does a lot of damage. We're also not going to blow up the enemy next turn. Let's meditate to put back in hand a Wallop. Crescendo crush joints. Let's flurry of blows. Crescendo halt crush joints. Then wallop. Or we could just lessons learned for the kill. Reach heaven's nice, but don't think it's what we want here. No need to play either of those yet. We could just get screwed on the cost cycles here, unfortunately. Let's defend. Crush joints. Bite. Bite. Empty body. Come on, and that's not going to be lethal, is it? Not even slightly. I mean, it'll keep us alive. But we're keeping the worst cards in our hand constantly here. And that's going to weigh us down. <sighs> Floria blows the costs one as well. Yikes. Uh, Can I kill? I don't think I can right now. Let's throw out a flurry of blows and then meditate, trying to pull back wallop. Okay. Crescendo before we do anything, and then bite. Bite. Okay, good. We managed to get past that and heal up a little bit at the end. I'll take a pre-upgraded halt, because we still need the extra defense. Oh my god, another rushdown would be hilarious, but I don't think we actually have enough to support it. I think we might need another eruption, maybe. Yeah, we need the ability to swap into Wrath a little bit more commonly. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. All right. So we do have the conclude, but unfortunately, I have to use that at the end of the turn. Hmm. That's bad.
Let's use a lesson learned here on the frontliner and then empty body. So that we can live. If you call this living. Yeah, we're dead. Having the extra bites in the deck and having extra things diluting my hand with the Runic Pyramid, as well as the fact that the Runic Pyramid meant that oftentimes our hand was so large that we couldn't pull back the flurry of blows, actually ended up becoming a detriment to us. I also don't think that we chose the right times. We, I don't think I chose the right times to swap into or out of Wrath. There's something about the stance uh, switching deck as in the current stance switching deck that I don't get. And I felt like when I was trying to understand the stance switching deck, flow state was my way in. And now that that's been removed, I find myself back in the same position of, oh, how do I make this work? Which is meaning I'm making a hell of a lot of mistakes, which are much more obvious and apparent when you're doing it in the highest level of difficulty that the game offers. I do apologize about, you know, the recent stuff, but hey, Ascension 20 wouldn't be worth doing if it was easy to do. And also, playing a new character wouldn't be worth doing if I wasn't willing to try and try new things. Now you might say, yes, but you've been trying start swapping for the last couple episodes. That's fair. But also, it's still a new thing, and I am trying to make clear at the end and start of each episode what I've learnt, how I'm going to try and apply that, and how I'm going to try and modify my games with start swapping. Uh, swapping start swapping. Start swapping. Start starts. You know what? I'm going to start starting. Start starting uh, builds in the future. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Video Games. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.